everybody. That's better? Oh, yes, that's better. So, good afternoon, everybody. I hope that uh, everyone is refreshed now after the lunch and ready for some new content. So, uh, as introduced by uh, Washizaki san, uh, my name is Jens Heitrich and I'm heading the process management uh, division at the uh, Fraunhofer IESA. And in the afternoon session, we will have a, a closer look uh, to the GKM plus strategies approach, basically for IT management and aligning uh, IT related strategies with the business goals of the organization. So before we go into the details of the approach and have a look to the motivation, uh, I want uh, to only show you one slide uh, about our recent collaborations, long-term collaborations uh, we have with uh, Japanese uh, uh, institutions and uh, companies. え、実際にですね、このアプローチに関して、え、そしてどういう背景、動機づけがあって、このアプローチが伝わるようになったのかという詳細に、え、話を進めさせていただきたいと思います。え、長きにわたったえ、コラボレーションまた最近行われているコラ
しかし最近の流れというのは多くの組織の中で IT やソフトウェア開発というのがイノベーションを牽引していく役割を持つというような考え方がされてきていきます。And、uh, this does not only hold for classical uh, information uh, system driven organizations, it also holds more and more for embedded uh, uh, software driven organizations because more and more functionality that used to be implemented in hardware is in our days implemented as software. <coughs> えー、組み込みのソフトウェア、えー、これを行っていくような組織の中でも、えー、この流れというのは、えー、より大きく見られるようになってきておりますその背景的な理由というのは、えー、最近ではより多くの機能の実現がハードウェアでされるところからソフトウェアで機能が、えー、作られるというふうに変わってきているというのが挙げられます So software and IT really become a driver and enabler for innovation And、uh, it also helps us to differentiate us from our competitors. So,、um, if this assumption、um, is true, then the efficiency and effectiveness、uh, of IT and software development、uh, really becomes an enabler for being able to quickly react to market trends and changes in, the, in our target markets. <coughs> IT やソフトウェアの開発の効率を上げる、そして効果を上げることがイコール、市場のト,、えー、トレンドが変わったときに、迅速にそれを、えー、反応していく、多くの市場の変化に、えー、その対応を迅速にしていくということを実現するのも、<咳>この IT やソフトウェア開発を効率よく、効果高く行えることによって可能になるということになります。So, one observation uh, also uh, that uh, I can、um, contribute from Germany, but I think it's also true for great parts of Europe and probably also in Japan, that the innovation and product cycles get shorter and shorter. これはまあドイツだけではなくヨーロッパの他の国、そして日本においてもそうだというふうに思うんですが、最近の流れで目に,取れ目に立つ、見て取れることとしまして、イノベーション、または製品開発のサイクルがどんどん短縮されて短くなっているという傾向がございます。So, in our days, we don't、uh, measure this in years anymore. We measure it in months, in days, and sometimes、uh, there is、uh, something that is called continuous delivery,、uh, so in, in, in seconds or minutes. So, in order to really keep the pace and stay with that speed, it's important to align、uh, the strategies that our organization has with respect to IT and software development with the business goals. <laughs> この組織が IT やソフトウェアの開発に対して掲げている戦略をビジネス上のゴール、目標と合わせていくというのが大変重要になります。And then based upon having some sound measurement data coming up with the right decisions for our organization. そして健全な測定から出てきたデータに基づいて組織にとって正しい意思決定をするということも重要になります。Okay, so what are critical questions the organization asks itself? それでは、組織が自分自身に問いかけなければならない重要な問いかけ、質問とはどんなものがあるでしょうか。For instance, how does the money, the investment that I put into IT really pay off, so really contribute to my business value? まず一つ目としましては、<笑> IT に対して投資をしているお金、これが本当にどのように見返りを生んでいるのか。ビジネスにとっての価値に本当につながっているのかとこういう点です。Or how to avoid unrealistic and contradictory goals and strategies from our organization. 
また、えー、組織にとって現実的ではないまた矛盾を起こしてしまうような目標を立てずにいられるためにはどうすればいいのか。So, in practice, these questions are quite hard to answer, and there are basically two reasons why. Reason number one in a lot of organizations, this clear systematic link between the goals and the strategies across the different levels of the organization is missing. その理由を挙げていきたいと思いますが、まず一つ目としまして、えー、多くの組織の中で、えー、この目標、えー、ゴールや、えー、その目的というのが設定されていますが、えー、そのいろいろな、えー、階層やレベルがあると、でその間での、えー、目標の間でのリンクが、えー、欠けているという点です。And reason number two is that in a lot of organization only a limited amount of really reasonable measurement data is available for making the right decisions. And to determine whether we successfully obtained our goals or not. And so, the first thing is that 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 the So, first of all, it's very important to have this transparent link between the top level strategies of an organization down towards the operational project level. So if this link is missing, probably the strategy is not really implemented well within the organization. このつながり、リンクというものが欠けているということになってしまいますと、せっかく会社としてやってきた戦略が、実は実行、実現ができないということになってしまいます。Or the projects do not efficiently contribute to the strategy of the organization. または行われるプロジェクトが会社としての戦略に効率的に貢献することができないということになってしまいます。And the second factor, being able to really measure success in your organization. So that is pretty much related to the ability of the organization to overlap the business the organization is working in with the management of the organization and the IT technology that is driving the innovation. これは組織が自分たちが行っている事業、そして組織で行われているマネージメント、そしてそのイノベーションを起こすのに使われる IT の技術、これを重ね合わせていくことができるのかどうかという力に関連してきます。Basically, the classical field that uh, tries to, to measure whether the organization is uh, uh, on the right path is the field of business intelligence. So, really having measurement data, information that helps us to systematically guide and steer the organization. そこでデータを測定し、そのデータを使って、えー、統計的に系統だった、えー、形で,です、ね、そのビジネスがきちんとした軌道上にあるのかどうかというのを評価するわけです。そのような、えー、ビジネスと IT 間の整合性を持たせて、持ち合わせていくということの価値は、えー、どこにあるのでしょうか。And the value of this clear track from the IT strategies towards your business goals. この右側を見ていただきますと、IT の戦略がまっすぐはっ
っきり分かる線路でビジネスのゴールへとつながっているのがお分かりになるかと思いますが。So these values basically stem, stem from 400 different interviews that were performed among 60 different organizations. And this was performed by a Canadian business university. And there were some values that are quite objectively. Uh, observable because they are measurable. So the organization saved money and resources, increased profitability, retained their customers, in the ideal case, of course, increased the amount of customers and increased their market share. どういう測り方測定ができるのかというと、まあ、このように、えー、の IT の戦略とビジネス側の目標がつかって繋がっていることによってコスト削減になったリソースが削減できた利益率が上がったお客様の維持ができたお客様を増やすことができたまたは市場シェアが上がったというような測定です。And the intangible, the soft values included uh, a better attained uh, strategic goals, improved corporate culture, the companies, the organizations are better in being innovative, they innovated and improved the quality of life of their community. それ以外のいわゆるソフトのが価値、つまり無形の価値というのにどういうのがあるのかと言いますと、そのような繋がりをきちんと持つことによって、例えば企業文化が改善したであるとか、組織がより、イノベーション精神を持った組織になれたである
根拠が必要になります。えー、その戦略をすることによって、えー、その目標を実現することが本当にできたのか戦略が戦略実行が目標を実現に本当に役立ったのかとこういうことです。Well, why a certain goal is related, of course, to a certain strategy. えー、そして特定の戦略に関連した目標というのも当然存在します。And this then really helps us as an organization to have、uh, a measurement、uh, based、uh, improvement、uh, decisions across the organization. So if one goal fails, then Based upon the rationale, you can make up the right conclusions in terms of the strategies that were related to that goal and try to、uh, react to that,、uh, define some countermeasures, refine the strategy, define another strategy for bringing the organization back to track. So let's have a look to an example. Let's assume your organization has problems with software quality. And let's assume、uh, they want to introduce some quality gates, so which are certain points in the process in order to check the quality of the software. So then,、uh, probably the goal of this organization on the IT and software level is to decrease the number of issues within the software. So, as Adam,、uh, son, has introduced this morning, Uh, one means to do this is to build and introduce a quality model for measuring quality of the software, so the quality aspects that are relevant for your organization. And then visualize the measurement results, for instance, using these tree map structures that Adam Sun has introduced. So, at the end, the quality model、uh, that、uh, Adam has shown is basically,、uh, or, or can basically be derived、uh, up in the same,、uh, using the same method, the same technique, namely GQM. Uh, so, defining a measurement goal、uh, that is、uh, related to software quality and then systematically via questions and metrics、uh, thinking about which quality aspects are relevant and then based upon that discussion build a quality model. Adam has shown the quality model to you know, the GQM is a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. ソフトウェアの品質と関係があるのかということをまず考えて、それに対する質問、一連の質問を考え、それに関連する最も関連性の高い、例えば品質のこの場なのか、あるいはデータなのかということを考えて、それをもとにこのモデルを構築することもできます。So the starting point、uh, for that discussion was we want to introduce quality gates, but why should the manager of your organization give you money to do that? さて、先ほどの論点に戻りますけれども、クオリティゲートを設けたいということを考えた場合に、会社の経営陣としてはなぜこれを許可すべきなのか、これに投資をすべきなのか。So for these reasons, we need to think a little bit about the relationship of that strategy towards the higher level goals of the organization. その答えを出すためには、組織のより高いレベルにある戦略と、今申し上げた論点との関係性を説明しなくてはいけません。<笑> 
So the motivation for doing this was to have an improved reliability of the products. And you can again measure that uh, reliability from a customer's point of view. Probably too many customers complain about the reliability of your product. However, from an organizational point of view, introducing quality gate is probably not the only strategy for improving reliability. So you could also have other strategies like improving the quality assurance methods, like testing. Again, our manager can ask, okay, uh, improved reliability of products, uh, why should this help us from an organizational point of view? So in that case, we need to have a look to the top-level business goal of this uh, example organization, which is an increased uh, amount of customers. Again, you can measure this uh, by having a look to the overall development of the number of customers over time. And there is the basic assumption on the top level that improving the quality of our products will help us to gain more customers. And probably improving the reliability of the products is not the only goal to do that strategy. We also probably have different goals here, like for instance uh, that uh, defect fixes, uh, uh, bug fix releases are provided in time and uh, in cost. So in summary, by building up that kind of model, you should have a consistent chain of arguments from the top level to the bottom level and vice versa. Okay, so let's have a look to the process how such models are developed. So first of all, we need to get a basic management commitment in the organization to develop such a model. Then we need to define the application scope because probably we do not want uh, to develop such a model for all 25,000 uh, people in our organization, but for a specific part of the organization that is very critical and we want to align and steer that part with such a GCAMPA strategy as well. え、そして例えば従業員が2万5000人もいるような会社で全社的にこれをやるわけにはいかないと思いますのでその中でも特に大事な部分、え、ここには時給も使いたいという部分を見つけて、え、スコープを決めていきます。Then in the next step, we basically build that model, so we think about the important goals we have in the organization, we think about potential strategies and how to measure them. え、そして今度はモデルの作成ということで
then we basically implement the model. So we choose uh, the right processes within the organization for implementing the model. So which means we implement the strategies that were defined in the model. We organize data collection and analysis, and we define feedback mechanisms. そして、今度は適切なプロセスを選んで、そのプロセスを使ってモデルの実行を行っていきます。えー、戦略を実行し、そしてその結果のデータを収集し、えー、収集したデータをもとに分析を行い、えー、その分析結果を今度は反映させてさらに改善していきます。Then we execute the model, so which means we execute the strategies defined in the model, we collect the data, and、uh, then we have a look whether we obtained our goals by analyzing、uh, the data and checking whether we have, have achieved the goals and whether we are on the right track. Model in the middle of the model, we have to do the same thing, and 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 we have to そして正しい方向に向かっているかということを確認していきます。So then, last but not least, we need to draw the right conclusion from the data analysis. So if a strategy was successful, has worked out, so has helped us to obtain our goal,、uh, we can、uh, continue with that strategy. If the strategy was not successful, we probably need to think about alternative strategies for obtaining our goals. えそして最後に。結論を出していく必要があるわけですけれども、分析結果を見て、あこの戦略は確かに目標の達成のために貢献をしたなというものを続けていきます。逆にこの戦略はダメだったなというものに関しては、具体的な戦略を構築しなくてはいけません。So the whole process is a learning cycle, which means after having completed this one first cycle, we can go into another cycle, revise strategies, revise goals, create new goals and strategies, and incrementally extend the model. これは学習サイクルということですのでまず1回目このモデルのプロセスを完了しましたら今度はその結果をもとに今ある戦略や目標を再考していきますあるいは新しい戦略やゴールを導入しても構いませんけれどもそういった形で段階的に強化をすることができるモデルになっています。It is important that you have clear responsibilities within the organization that are responsible for obtaining the goals and for carrying out the strategies. So, the first model is that 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 So, probably, like in this example, only a subset of the organizational units is really involved in the alignment model. こちらの事例にありますように、組織すべてではなくて、組織の一部だけがこの整合性を持つモデルに対して責任を持つといいますか、実際に関わっていく人々だということになります。Okay, now let's have a look to two examples. それでは、具体的な事例を2つご紹介しましょう。So the first example uh, was uh, given by Eco Petrol, which is a Colombian、uh, company in the area of oil and gas production. So you could now say, okay, ESA is not in、uh, the oil and gas business, that's right,、uh, but we're in the IT business, and so we work together with the DTI. Company, uh, the DTI、uh, the unit of that company, which is the IT uh, uh, organization uh, that uh, is supporting Echo Petrol. Eh,自分はその石油関連の人間となるなんて思いをしているんだろうと思われるかもしれませんけれども、実はこのエコペトロルという会社、石油の会社には、DTI と呼ばれる IT の組織というか、ユニットがありまして、そこと一緒に仕
So the problem that we were confronted with is to really demonstrate that the IP relevant activities really provide value on the organizational level. ということで、実際に IT がやっている仕事、活動というものが、企業、会社全体に対して価値をもたらしているのだということを証明しなければいけないという課題がありました。And the goal for doing this and for obtaining、uh, this goal of Hacko Petrol, we,、uh, we established an enterprise decision management、uh, system. And this system was systematically constructed using the G Campus Strategies approach. GQM Plus Strategy のアプローチを使って体系的に構築されたシステムであります。So now you could ask, okay, why is this so difficult for an IT provider? Well, this is the landscape,、uh, the enterprise architecture of、uh, Echo Petrol.So it includes、uh, more than 500 applications supporting 2,500 business processes and more than 4,000 different information units, so pieces of information. And、this little picture is a visualization that、uh, we created、uh, from a database、uh, documenting these applications and shows the communication relationships between the applications. Okay, so the GKM plus strategies model that、uh, they obtained looks as follows. <coughs> so they want to be among the 27 uh, uh, best companies in the world by 2050, and they can only obtain that goal if they increase the amount of oil and gas reserves by a certain、uh, amount. さて、えー、究極の目標は2015年までに、えー、この石油ガスの会社のです、ね、上位27位に食い込むということでありまして、えー、そのためには石油およびガスの,、えー、このリザーブ備蓄の量を増やさなければいけないということでした。And in order to do this,、uh, they need to have an、um, uh, effectively balanced exploration portfolio, so, which means they need to search for the oil and gas at the right places. ということは、適切な場所で石油ガスの探査をしないといけないということになりますので、探査計画の最適化が必要になってきます。And this is a competitive market, so you are not the only oil and gas company, so you have to be the first that is searching、uh, on this place,、uh, and therefore、uh, you need to have a very low small analysis time for finding these reserves. そして、非常に競争の激しい地域。と言いますか業界ですので、えー、どこを探査するにしても自分たちが一番乗りをしないといけないという状況にあります。ということは、その探査をする先を探す時間が非常に限られている、短期間で判断をしなければいけないという状況になります。And this is the critical part where IT comes into play. So the main strategy for them was to improve the information quality so that they can provide that kind of analysis. えー、そのように短期間での分析が可能になるような。So, the main goal on the IT level was to improve and maintain the information quality, and there were several strategies defined for doing that, and one of them was related to、uh, develop and maintain、uh, applications that、uh, provide this high quality information. <coughs> 情報の品質を向上する、そして高いレベルで維持をするという目標を達成しなくてはいけません。そのためにはいくつかの複数の戦略があるわけなんですけれども、その戦略のうちの一つというのが、高品質な情報を提供するためのアプリケーションを開発し、そして保守するというものでした。So having high quality applications helps them to improve the information quality 
and in turn becomes faster in finding <coughs> oil and gas reserves. Okay, now let's have a closer look to the, uh, to the metrics, to the measurement uh, system we have developed for this goal number four, information quality, and goal number five, application quality. え、それでは、え、G4と書いてありますこれは情報の品質に関連する4つの項ですね。え、ここの部分とそれから G5と書いてあるアプリケーションの品質に関わる部分のメトリックスを見ていきたいと思います。Okay. So, for information quality, we basically applied the classical GKM approach for coming up with the right metrics for measuring information quality and information quality for them uh, means the uniqueness of the information source, the consistency of the information, the completeness of the information, and the timeliness provision of the information. さて、この情報の品質のメトリックスに関しては、GQM を使ったわけですけれども、重要な特性がいくつかありました。え、つまり、情報源がユニークであるかどうか、情報が完全であるかどうか、一貫性があるかどうか、そして、え、タイムリー
they have a more consistent communication across the different organizational levels. And last but not least, more objective decision ma uh, making by measuring the achievement of goals and the success of the strategies. So for time reasons, we will only quickly have a look to the second case. Which was improving the time to delivery uh, for an international IT solutions provider. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to name the company. So it was repeatedly uh, ranked as a top number one technology vendor uh, within Europe. And and they are facing uh, the problem that it simply takes too long to upgrade a customer from one release to the next release. And currently there is no transparency where the time is lost. And our goal, no surprise, uh, was to bring a little bit more transparency into that game and to find the bottlenecks. So again, we applied GQM plus strategies for having a clear link uh, from the top level business goal towards the IT level goals. And the major result uh, was uh, a dashboard, or a couple of dashboards, that helped them to bring more transparency into their upgrade projects. So overall, three different kinds of dashboards have been created. One that basically gives a very simple management aggregated view on the overall health of the upgrade project. Then uh, the second uh, type of dashboards uh, is more a kind of internal project controlling view, giving more transparency about the defect numbers and their characteristics and how long it takes internally to fix the defects. And the last uh, one is the customer focused perspective, which basically brings uh, more transparency into the defects that slip through to the customer, so that are visible to the customer side, and how long it takes to deliver fixes to the customer. Again, here, the measurement itself just brings more transparency into the game, and uh, you need to come up with uh, the right measures, so the right counter actions for improving the situation. So in this example, uh, the company uh, needed a dramatic increase of the fixing capacity, so there were too few people dealing with defect fixing, and they uh, need to work on the, uh, the defect backlog before the project starts. で、ここで明らかになった問題というのは、あまりにもこの結果の数が多すぎてですね、それに対応する人数が足りていない。そして毎回プロジェクトを始める前にこれまでに溜まっていたバックログを片付けないと取り掛かれないという状態だったわけです
6ヶ月から3ヶ月に短縮されました、半減したわけです。Okay, so GCAMPA strategies was、uh, applied in、uh, many different other、uh, areas. Let me close with、uh, some lessons learned from the application. So, first of all, the management really needs to get uh, uh, commitment. You, let, you need to get commitment from the management in order to roll such an approach out. えー、まずこのようなアプローチを実行するためには必ずトップマネジメントの確約が必要です。You should try to start small and then extend the model incrementally。そしてモデルは小規模で始めてだんだん大きくしていくのが良いということです。You need to set a clear scope on which you want to apply the model for and involve all relevant stakeholders for getting the required acceptance of the model. そしてモデルを適用する範囲、スコープを最初から明確に決めておいて、それに影響を受けるような利害関係者の OK を最初に取り付けておくということです。And you need to have the right balance between the effort that is spent in actually collecting the data and analyzing the data. So you should spend more time in actually using the data, so getting value out of the data than spending for collecting the data. あとはデータの収集にばかり時間をかけすぎないで、えー、きちんと分析の方にも時間をかけましょうとバランスよくやりましょうということですね、えー、データを集めるだけが全てではなくてそれを使わないという意味がありませんので And this is also related to reducing the overhead for data collection、えー、ということはそのデータ収集にかかるオーバーヘッドをいかに少なくするかということになります OK so just a quick summary of、uh, what I've told you Uh, basically,、uh, we need to take care of the efficiency and effectiveness of software development, and therefore, it is important to align the IT and software development related strategy with the business goals. So, GCAMPA strategies is an approach to do so, and、uh, it's、uh, by now also a quite well documented approach. So, you can uh, find uh, a book、uh, since January this year about the overall approach that goes into much more detail than my little presentation here. そして GQM プラスというのは非常に確立された手法でありまして、実は今年の1月にこのような本も出版されております。今回短い時間ではご紹介できなかった詳細な各種この本には載っております。Yeah, and、uh, thanks to、uh, the enormous efforts of the、uh, Japanese、uh, working group,、uh, there is also a Japanese、uh, translation available. And right now、uh, they are searching for or、uh, negotiating with uh, publishers uh, for also uh, um, um, uh, releasing a Japanese version of that contents、uh, to the Japanese market. そして日本の作業部会の皆様が大変な努力をしてくださったおかげでこの本実は日本語に翻訳されておりましてで今日本市場で出版できるようにということで出版社との交渉が進行中だというふうに聞いております。So I'm already over my time. Sorry for that. But the last slide,、uh, I promise. 時間を超過してしまって申し訳ございません。これが最後です。お約束いたします。Okay. So as we have also already heard a couple of times today, there is a trend towards integration. Uh, of different kinds of systems. So we walk from closed system towards integrated systems. And in future, not only a single company will be、uh, the provider of that kind of systems or systems, there will be multiple companies. So different companies that need to work together. Uh, that have the same or a common business model in mind. So, the short idea is that this is a system that 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 is a system そして今朝ほど、ロンバクの方からも話がありましたけれども、この新しい世界をスマートエコシステムと呼びます。
So there, our efforts go into uh, making GKM plus strategies also <coughs> applicable in a context where you have to align goals and strategies across organizations. Actually, I was lying, sorry again. This is my very, very last <laughs> And I want to close with a little photo, a picture that was uh, taken in 2005 uh, on one of our first collaborations projects with uh, IPA. So you can, a little bit younger, you can recognize <laughs> that some, and uh, myself with a beard at that time. So. Okay, anyway, thank you very much uh, for listening to that presentation. Go on. ということで、まだ初期の段階での IPA さんとのコラボレーションの時の写真ですけれども、アダムさんはまだ少し若く私は髭を生やしておりましたが、この写真で終わりたいと思います。ご清聴ありがとうございました。<笑>